Today we're continuing our adventures with Jack Skellington in the quest, The Pumpkin King Returns. To unlock this quest, you will need to reach level 2 friendship with Jack, and you will need to have Remy, Ursula, and Olaf in your valley. Once you have met all the requirements you can chat to Jack to start our new adventure. Jack has gone around the valley to explore, but it seems he got a bit carried away and has upset some valley friends. He suggests going around and introducing himself to the villagers to try and resolve the issue. First up we'll introduce him to the world's friendliest snowman, Olaf. It looks like Olaf has encountered Jack before and it was not a pleasant experience. Olaf had been given some special chocolate ice cream by Remy and was planning on giving it to Anna. But before he could Jack had started asking what it was and continuously poked the ice cream with his finger. Inevitably, the ice cream was ruined and Olaf could no longer give it to Anna. We apologize to Olaf for the bad experience and promise to make him a new batch of chocolate ice cream. If you have not yet learned the recipe for chocolate ice cream you can open your bag to use the recipe book that Olaf has given you. Then we can head over to our nearest stove to cook our special batch of chocolate ice cream for Olaf. You will need the following ingredients. Cocoa beans which can be found in the Glade of Trust and Sunlit Plateau. Sugarcane which you can grow on Dazzle Beach. Then we will need slush ice and milk which we can purchase from Shea Remy. Once we're done cooking we can head back to Olaf to deliver the chocolate ice cream. He is very grateful for the ice cream and that he can now give his gift to Anna. He is no longer upset about the bad experience he had with Jack, and you promise him that you will talk to Jack and let him know that it's not okay to touch other people's food. Let's head over to chat to Jack. You explain to him that Olaf was very upset about what he had done, and it is not acceptable to mess with other people's food. You suggest next time asking politely if he could try some instead. Most of our valley friends are kind and would share their food with others if asked nicely. Now that we've put the Olaf mess behind us you suggest continuing our mission to introduce Jack to the other villagers. Perhaps Ursula would be a better fit for Jack. Let's go chat to Ursula. It looks like Jack had a run-in with Ursula too. He had shown up at Ursula's home and started rummaging through her potions without asking. Then to make matters worse he started mixing different ingredients together to make his own concoction. You offer to make things right by collecting the ingredients Ursula would need to replace the potions Jack has ruined. So here are all the ingredients we will need to find. First up you'll need 12 gooseberries which can be found in the frosted heights or forgotten lands. Then you will need 3 red nasturtiums which are in the forgotten lands. Then we need 3 white passion lilies from the frosted heights. 
And finally, you will need two amethysts from either the Frosted Heights or the Forgotten Lands. Once you have collected all the ingredients, you can deliver them to Ursula. Ursula is thankful for the ingredients and hopes you will keep Jack in line. But it seems he has run off again after Ursula had told him about the fairy godmother and her pumpkin house. Jack found this fascinating and ran off to investigate. We'll need to catch up with him and hopefully he hasn't upset another villager. Let's find Jack and chat to him. We tell him that we have replaced the ingredients for the potions he had ruined in Ursula's home and we warn him to be more careful around her because she can be a bit vengeful from time to time. Jack is interested in meeting the fairy godmother, we offer to take him to meet her but he needs to behave himself. Follow Jack and watch his interaction with the fairy godmother. Once you're done watching their interaction you can chat with Jack again. He really enjoyed his conversation with the fairy godmother and declares she is his favorite fairy in the valley. She had given him a design for a pumpkin throne and Jack would like your help to craft this beautiful furniture piece. So, let's collect all the materials we'll need to craft the pumpkin king his very own pumpkin throne. First up we'll need 31 pumpkins, seeds for these can be purchased from Goofy's stall in the Forgotten Lands, and they take 4 hours to grow. They also need to be watered twice, so make sure you come back after 2 hours to give them some more water. Next, you will need 10 pieces of dark wood which can only be found in the Forgotten Lands. I've removed all my trees in this biome and replaced them with a few plaza trees to make it easier to collect dark wood. Once you have all the materials needed you can head over to your nearest crafting station to craft the pumpkin throne. Now we can place it anywhere in our valley. I chose to place mine near Jack's house in the Forgotten Lands. Once you place the throne, you will need to find Jack and hang out with him in order to take a picture of the two of you with the chair. He did not want to pose with me today so all I got was his back. We can now chat to Jack to complete the quest, the Pumpkin King returns. As always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I hope to see you next time as we continue our adventures with the Pumpkin King.